Archaeologists were finally able to discern the baby's eye color, hair type, sex, and even how he died more than 25 years after the initial discovery. In 1998, 17, 000 year old skeletal remains of a one year old child were uncovered in southern Italy. The well preserved remains underwent skeletal and DNA analysis in order to determine the child's appearance, sex, and cause of death. A new study reveals that the child likely died from a heart condition caused by genetic mutations. Skeletal remains of a 17 000 year old baby were uncovered in southern Italy in 1998. Now, thanks to thorough analysis of the remarkably well preserved remains, archaeologists have been able to determine what the child looked like and what ultimately ended his short life. The child's body was found beneath two rock slabs within Grotta del Mura Cave in Monopoly, Italy, and in a remarkable state of preservation to come on for the region's warmer climate, it was preserved so well, in fact, that the corpse dish were intact enough to show as many as nine accentuated lines, or markers of physiological hardships. The isotopes observed in the child's tooth and amelisso indicated approximately where he had been born. The strontium isotope analysis further revealed that the mother remained in the local area during the last period of her pregnancy, the authors noted. Skeletal analysts suggested that the child died when he was roughly one year and four months old, while DNA analysis painted a strong portrait of his appearance and cause of death, they determined that the child likely had blue eyes, dark skin, and curly dark brown to almost black hair, as well as some likely fatal genetic mutations. Fedna analysis also revealed that the baby harbored mutations in two genes TEN2 and MIBS3. These mutations often lead to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a largely genetic condition that makes the walls of the left ventricle thicken and stiffen over time, meaning the heart can't receive or pump out enough blood with each heartbeat. In the absence of any evidence of fatal injury, it's reasonable to conclude that it was indeed this congenital heart disease that ultimately claimed the life of this child millennia ago, but despite his short life, his remarkably preserved remains have allowed him to further the understanding of a society that he predated by millennia. Please subscribe this channel. Archive Story Vlogs. Thank you.